Sega. Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens. My chapter is in ruins. The sector is at war. Its worlds under siege. Chaos spreads, consumes us all. Uh, hurry everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace of Mike Lieutenant Drakeel at your service! So let me close the blind so the sun isn't being reflected into my face, there we go. <laughs> and welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where last time we continued on with the Eldar. And this time we should be able to finish it, I guess? And after that, well, one, two, three, four, five, there will be only one more campaign after that. And then we'll be done with this game. <laughs> okay. I do have to say that I'm partly regretting deciding to go for every, uh, for every uh, uh, faction with this game. But on the other, we have found some good points here and there. Yeah. And it kind of is fair. Yeah. Well, and I think the, the reason was to maybe split them up a bit between each other instead of going one after another. True. And yeah, last time uh, Typhon went boom again. And yeah, the Elder learns that they basically got tricked by Kairos into letting the Exterminators happen. And for a bit of a... <laughs> for a bit of a... A reminder, Typhon is where a craft world was buried, which is basically one of their flying cities. So, yeah, we know they're, they are not going Ooh. to take that well. Oh, it's more than just a city. It's more like a... It's more like a world on its own. <laughs> Either way, they're going to be very, very pissed. And yeah, off to the Judgment of Carrion. <laughs> we we got we got told about this in the very first mission, so I don't know why they keep repeating some things way after you already learned them. Uh, reminders. How how could this happen? There must have been some mistake. I I must have made a mistake. Traitorous savage. So you followed us through the webway. Step out of the shadows. Give me a solitary reason why I should not slaughter you. I heard Kairos's words on Typhon. You meant to save the spirit stones buried there. You may yet save at least one. <clears throat> you seek to ransom a single Eldar soul after thousands have just perished. I do not have it, Kairos does. I have seen it on his person. He kept it as a trophy from the Cronus campaign. A spirit stone? From Cronus? All but one were recovered, were they not? Our time in your employ has ended. Leave now with your life and never let us see you again. What? Caleb, we must... She is... Run, scion of the Emperor! You disappoint me. But so be it. Your race is damned in any case. I will find my own way off this Space Hulk. Die well, Eldar of Aliatok. 
Yes, truly are the Eldar damned. Taldir gave her life to battling the Necrontier, and in thanks we now leave her so to rot. You know it is a risk we cannot take. Would you have yet more Eldar die for the sake of the dead? The dead? The damned? Enough, Warlock! Your prophecies have proven not but folly! On the contrary, they only now finally make sense. Taldir had been entrusted with the locations of Necron Tomb Worlds in proximity of Croftworld Uthway. The dead will bear death. The damned shall be damned. Every soul of a Croftworld lost, slain without a word. The dead were not fallen Eldar. They are the Necrontier. To bear death is to bring it, not to suffer it. The damned are the living Eldar of Uthway, slain not by wordless cannons, but the silent Necrons. Even as a spirit, Taldir's wisdom and power could save thousands of lives from the Necron threat. The prophecy said that to prevent this doom, we must obey the Scion of the Emperor. That has only brought us ruin. Yet had we not done so, we would never have learned of your sister. Your sister who can save us all. Your reasoning is sound. Very well. I will lead us against Kairos' forces for the living of Craftworld Ulthway. And I will follow you. For Tal dear. Wisdom is wisdom. Okay, that, that was that was actually really good. Attachment, <laughs> like, on par with what we saw from the Imperial Guard. Yeah. Oi, trespassers, invaders, hooligans, and nerdwells. And then we have this jackass. Put her thin air on this here space hulk, who will help me say so. Now piss off, or I'm like to say so to something nasty! <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, now they have really good reasoning Blood for the spilling. to keep going. We shall destroy it. Yep. Yeah, but... Shooters! Man of the Snow is precisely very good here and there, but some feel like they had better... Well, they had more time to work out than others. Yeah, I... I think I get the feeling they may have... They probably had different uh, writers working on different campaigns. And I get the feeling... The... <clears throat> I get the feeling the Elder and Imperial Guard campaigns were written by the same people, yeah, by the same writer. <laughs> yeah, to, both uh, all the writers would have to talk to be in sync with each other as well. Within some areas. True. Though it could have just been that they handed their stories over to the editors and they, yeah, they aligned things. And at any of those points, the Tyranids could have gotten screwed over. Yeah, again, as we said before with Tyranids, it's probably easier to write about the these little cults than the Tyranids themselves. Yeah, since those still have their own agency, or even within their own ranks, even if they are all, like... Hmm, I wouldn't say... Com they are. They would still have personalities and such. I'd say, even amongst themselves, if they are all just whatever the whatever the primarch, you know, the patriarch says, goes. Beyond that, they would still, as long as it wouldn't hurt the cults, they would still be able to well, interact between things. Maybe even scheme amongst each other for favor and such. Yeah. I just learned that many Tyranids can still work independently, like, we know the easy task is can, but apparently, the Gaunts can as well. Okay. That's and unexpected, they since they are the bottom of the... <laughs> since they're the bottom of the totem pole, so to speak. I am 
Yeah, for that actually sent them into planets, had them hide and breed with each other. No one is overstay your welcome. Oh, I'm expecting company. These savages are drawing power from our webway port. If we wish to leave, we must destroy their contraption. Oh dear. However, some yeah. teammates cannot leave without high mind. Yeah, that, that with the guns, that sounds more like they aren't acting independently, they are just acting on long standing orders. Yeah. Some of the letter is like the Reapers. If you destroy a uh, synapse, especially the high, uh, the one, the Norm Queen, the Reapers will instantly die. Okay. Yeah, ri Reapers would be more like the bottom of the totem pole. Also, yeah, for all these curious damage. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, all these enemies will just revert to Prime being beastial and all that, but Reapers? Just flat out die. Okay, that, that tells me that uh, their biological functions are being maintained by the nearest synapse creature. Yep. Basically, like living life supports. Yep. Uh. But yeah, it is one of those factions. I feel like every time I learn something new, it's usually something like makes my old, my perception of change. So realized. Oh, these are actually very dangerous and all that. More and more. Yeah, speaking of synapse and... creature. Oh, oh yeah, those. <laughs> but yeah. I can see why people have. Uh, from what I've been learning, I can see why more and more people say those calling them a high mind is technically incorrect. Yeah, they are close to it. Yeah, closest, but all still incorrect. Mm. I think I made a comparison to the script before, where they get smarter the more of them are nearby and such, but even that wouldn't be accurate. Yeah, dude, I would say that's more accurate with orcs. Okay, but yeah. this is probably where not having uh -oh. anti um, an anti-tank unit is going to have much of an effect. Actually... Let's see how those float. Uh, okay, apparently they don't. They're too heavy. Okay, nice detail. But, oh wait, then it, don't these count as vehicles, sort of? They're labeled as monsters, but I think when we were playing the Tyranids, they counted as a vehicle. Yeah, oh, Roman I don't know why uh, the Avatar King counted as a demon. Oh, yep, because they technically are. They nope. It's only for uh, simplification for the rule. They even happened in the room who said they're taking the, the, taking the not demons, but the same rule applies to them. Okay. AKA they were lazy didn't figure out another name to use for them. We just lead to more confusion. And incoming. And yeah, we've seen all of this plenty of times before, so not much to add on that. Uh, there is yeah. one thing... <coughs> one thing I can note is that uh, we were plan... Oh, hello. Oh, that will actually revive them as well, huh? Uh, we were planning on starting with the, the other side quest game, the, the, the new side quest game today. But today is also when that roleplay group that I've been trying to reconnect with is going to be active. So, yeah. Unless that gets cancelled, we might have to, well, <laughs> we might have to cancel stream instead. Yeah, I've been trying to ponder how to fix them, but uh, this uh, thing, how to see, do double streams, but... Uh, I really don't think it's a good idea to try to uh, 
start streaming from one to three, and then take two hour break from there. Let's stream again, like. Yeah, that, that would overlap anyways. Yeah. Or even 12. Could we start from there, but still. <clears throat> but yeah, since yeah, we're think... coming to... Go ahead. Uh, see, see, I think there was a reason we stopped the stream and shook it Sunday around 12. Now that, now that you mentioned it, I think we were originally streaming that a lot earlier than it, we do at the moment, or nowadays. Oh yeah, way earlier. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, on another note there, uh, with the with the job I'm going into a trial period of, because of course they want a trial period instead of just outright just plain paying me straight. Uh, then again, I, it has been a long ass time since I've been yeah, since I've done that kind of work. So 50-50 on that. Uh, they want me to you know, they want me to start with working Wednesdays and some other day. So yeah, Wednesday is going to be a definite work day. Uh, so we might not be able to. Uh, we might have to move uh, the Valheim streams to another time, which could be on Saturday evenings if we don't do something else instead. Yeah. Oh, mm. I guess you could also move it to Wednesday evening, but that depends a lot if you're still gonna do swimming on Wednesday. Yeah, I I don't. Which the the thing with Wednesdays, with Wednesday evenings is is that my uh, most of my family goes uh, to a swimming th uh, to teach at the swim thing. Then not me myself, which means that unless I pre um, unless I go make my own dinner, it's going to be late anyways. So it could just be you could just make Wednesday a solo dinner thing for me and stream then. Uh, yeah, that's a yeah, we'll have to see. And uh, would you say uh, show a bit interest and wanted to cook a bit more? A bit, yeah. We need more power. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's a good excuse to just move it to the evening. And I want to realize something. If in there, if we okay, hit it, hit his ring. If we do this, can you cook just for yourself on Wednesday, and we move Valheim to Wednesday evening. I might have... How to say this? A fresh body to throw into the pile. Go. Well, I guess I'm more morbid than planned. Uh, you, have, you have already met them. Durban. They I, also play I know about line. them for a good bit. <laughs> You've spoken of them plenty of times. And they've yeah, been in you... chat a good few times, so <laughs> my memory isn't good, but it's not that bad. But yeah, actually, you only recently got to hear their voice for the first time. Last time you, you, you have met them once or twice in Guild Wars on short moments. Okay. But yeah, again, those I will not blame you for forgetting, but it was just like, like five, ten minutes or something like that. But, yeah, I could see if they would be interested in joining me, Valheim. Again, it, it depends a lot if we go forward with this plan. Yeah. <laughs> so, nothing written in stone. We just talk about ideas, not confirm this is what we're going to do. We are not going to do it on... You know what I mean. Yeah, we need to plan things out more. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically... Planning phase. Not confirmation. Planning phase. Hmm. Can I form that, uh, phrase that pr properly? <laughs> Mostly. Hmm. Oh, hello. Slow moving sword range infantry. They move more quickly with a warlock nearby. Okay. That I that I overlooked. Does that mean any warlock in a team, or does that mean... Uh, would that mean this one here as well? 
That makes sense, for there's a specialist wall called the Spirit Seer, who specializes in uh, handling uh, Wraith Gods. Hmm. If we had more requisition... Okay, now I'm kind of curious how he managed to interface with Eldar tech. Wisdom is the win. We shall destroy Rudely likely. Yeah. Says, apparently, you heard yourself. Another decade. I see it on my way. I think he was even mad before he started tinkering with the teleporters. From just realizing, oh, he just you, you, tried to activate them. But now he just tries to drain their power for another teleport. He could have spent probably a half that time trying to figure out how to access the webway gate and get out that way, but yeah, orc gonna orc. Yeah. Oh, I think I just had a, a good comparison. Hmm? Let's see, we have, we have two cars. One is not working, but the other one is. Yeah. Have you heard of the term when you borrow yeah. gas from another car? Uh, yeah, but it's a, you can also use one to jumpstart the other. Yeah, probably he's, he's trying... He doesn't realize he can just, just use the other car. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. You might not know how they work. But it's probably easier to figure out how they work than to just steal their power to make your own. That should be involved decades. Okay. Just gotta keep an eye on these two mostly. Ooh. Okay, that's a good reason to come back here. Okay, can you get you 16 health? And it's the other one that goes first. <laughs> okay. I should probably say this before. Don't steal gas from another car. Yeah, for one, it might not actually be a compatible fuel anyways. This means you just make a new problem for yourself. The other, other thing is, just your move. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, they 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 do walk faster. <clears throat> it makes sense, actually. Again, Warlocks are supposed to do this, and the Spirit Seer is just a Warlock who has specialized in uh, handling them. Okay, they they're still too slow to keep up, though. So, yeah, not really a good solution to having those instead. Okay. <clears throat> that would probably worth going for some escort missions. And there goes the other prism. Something I noted is that they don't seem to really have a specialized anti-vehicle unit here. Like, the best I can think of is the graph platform when it's upgraded. That's a little obvious, but they get something else. What then? And I'm giving you some clues. Big, red, burst, and very angry. I... Having only well, one anti-building unit and the super unit be <clears throat> anti-building is a bit unbalanced, I'd say. But then again, they, the, the the graph platforms have like absolutely massive range to make up for that, I guess. And yes, I know you're talking about the avatar. 
All right. Good, good. We're on the same page. I was wondering what the heck does it mean, anti-building? Triumph is ours. Oh dear. Yeah. Eldritch Storm. Let's see. To the town. He's a large psychic storm disrupting and damaging enemies in a large radius. Okay. And we only got one piece of war gear from this. Again, it just seems like the the drop rates are really unbalanced between some campaigns. Let's see. Panel's chisel. Only my allies deal 17% melee damage. Uh, when hit with the ranged weapon, 100% chance per hit to heal all nearby allies for 2 health. Okay, that would be really good if you're under fire from a, like a big thing, rapid fire. <clears throat> Warlock Panel of Ultwe favored this sword as his weapon, which he used to carve runes at the site of his many victories. The Imperium became all too familiar with the sight of their works laying uh, low and bearing the mark of Panel. All right. Hmm. And let's see. We have Spear of Melantine. The craft world of Melantine was destroyed nearly two centuries ago by a vampiric tyranid zoanthrope that consumed the spirits of its infinity circuit. This spear contains many the few surviving spirits of the doomed craft world, souls that sing for vengeance. I'd heard of that. that uh, yeah, I, I told think... you about this one with play the tyranids. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh... I'm forgetting their name at the moment. Uh, Wes something, that YouTube channel. Wes Hammer? Uh, yeah, Wes Hammer. They spoke of this as well, I think. Yeah, I think. that's where I learned about it. And Wraithbone Synergy. That's actually for, let's actually go for the spear for once. We rarely go Wait. for the equipment. Hmm? Uh, I want to see what, what the heck is his stats? Uh, the, the spears. But, Melee 20% melee damage. <laughs> okay. No, no level requirement. Yep. So anyone in yep, yeah, Veldoran and Elenway could use it even if they were level one. Hmm. I'm guessing they put it mostly on these things in case for some reason some character has been well dead for most of the missions and thus getting less experience. Hmm. Possibly. We are free to search the planets once more, but the Exterminatus is underway. We must locate Kairos before it is complete, which at best gives us a scant few days. His mind is guarded, hidden from my sight, and once his sacrifice is complete, we will have no chance of rivaling his power. And I cannot track him across an entire subsector in so little time. Kairos is not a human. His strategy is predictable. He cannot leave the sector, so he hides. With the coming fire within this subsector, he would hide where Exterminatus passed long ago. The dead planet, Cyrene. Okay. Now, Veldoran, how does this thing actually compare? Okay, just on this damage alone, it's a decent boost. Then you just add on the melee and range damage. I wonder if the range damage applies to his spells as well. Because it's yeah. a melee weapon, you're not getting much uh, ranged attacks with that. Though I think I saw him make some before, like, so it, he can at least still cast Psychic Bolts and such. Yeah, it must be with the Psychic Bolts, but otherwise, why even have that buff on that weapon? <laughs> like... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. Like, uh, why have uh, an item that's only melee have a ranged buff? And because I'm pretty sure some of the buffs that gear can get are randomized. But yeah, no levels for anyone. Random. I hope not randomized. If they randomized, that just means you can get some really horrible items. Yeah, with certain ones, it is pretty. It is set. I'm pretty sure, like the the war gear we get or we can pick as a reward. But most other stuff that would drop, yeah, that can drop. I'm presuming a lot of it is just randomly generated to a degree. Let's see. We have two optional missions: the quarantine holds, and yeah, scavenging the 
<laughs> scavenging the soul stones left on Typhon now that the Exterminatus fleet is go is moving on. Hmm. Which of the two would you say? Uh, we can we can take uh, Typhon, then we can take uh, the Judgment of Carrion. Brothers and sisters, the human ships have carved large fissures into the world, some deep enough to cleave the buried craft world. We located the Infinity Circuit. The flames reach deep, and every biodome, every soul stone, there was no flicker of spirit, not a single one. So too did we locate the chamber of the Avatar. Fitting, I suppose, that he sits upon his throne there, unharmed. Nothing remains for us here. Order to report to the Webway Assembly. Once we return to the Webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. Kaleth, we must not let the channel be collapsed. If the Avatar Chamber is truly still intact, our mission on Typhon may yet hold value. Yep. This was different. They added the uh they added this and this in there. Okay, nice. Yeah, but that's the, about it you can say nice. You will notice something else off here. That is once we start the mission. Yeah, Elder against Elder. I'm, that would not make sense, but I'm going to guess that uh, they're going to be very pissed at us for, well, seemingly causing all of this. And they're not going to listen to reason about how this might be used to save the other craft worlds. Hmm. You... You dare violate this tomb, you pathetic, soulless savages! Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! Butcher them! Do not let them near the gates or the assembly! I am under attack here! Okay, so they're not even going to attempt you to communicate. It's the same dialogue as every time, eh? Eh, otherwise, and your embot says nothing even here. Yeah, that is a nuisance. Yeah, I think from Thundercat perspective, he, I think he's, he, they mentioned this mission was probably the biggest oversight for the Elmer yeah. and they the one that made most less sense, especially within the dialogue. Yeah, they, they went through the effort to add a bit of extra dialogue to the to the briefing, but they forgot to add any in the mission. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big oversight. Let's see, at Guardian spawn, or, not spawn spam. It's helped us enough in the past. It'll help us more. It'll continue to help us now. We are assembled. Ready for battle. Protect the Webway gates! They lend the power to hasten our escape! Losing one will slow the Assembly's departure into the Webway! Okay. It, again, definitely, there, there should have been a lot more specialized dialogue in missions where, well, factions face themselves. Like, we had a decent amount of that with the orcs. Yeah, dude, the orcs, it made sense. And with the Blood Raiders, it made sense, but they had a bit of a civil war. So, I feel like they should, had they had time, I feel like they should have made some more faction, had a bit more specialized mission for each of them. Yeah. So it wasn't as, um... Painfully obvious. Yeah. Like, they did try with some missions, but their mission objectives and functions were a little bit different, but... Again, probably there are uh, two tight deadlines. Yeah. Okay, and this was... This was originally just an expansion, so it didn't get as many resources as a full game, I presume. 
That box survived. Okay. Okay. Keep moving forwards. Keep making yeah, guardians for us to throw at everything else. Okay, one more positive point with this is that even if they are fighting other Eldar, they can just collect the spirit stones uh, afterwards. And finally, another thing. Tome of the Black Library. Okay, that must that must give an upgrade, I'm guessing. Just grab whatever we can. Also, fun fact. Hmm? Black Derby is also one of the Guild Workshop's own book publishers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we snuck that one in there. But it's also part of the lore, so it's more of a... Probably that the book publisher is named after the Black Library in the lore. Could be. Thing. Okay, clear that out, please. I have noticed that we've had less difficulty dealing with uh, garrisoned troops like that. Hmm. So, may I remember something I learned from watching about old, old Warhammer? Apparently, Dorcas' original name were no Dark Elves. Who? Oh. Night Elves. <laughs> okay, Warcraft might have had an issue with that. No, but it was around, uh, oh, 1978. And do you remember what I told you about StarCraft and Warcraft, what they were originally supposed to be? Yeah, they were supposed to be, well, <laughs> Warcraft, uh, no, not Warcraft, uh, Warhammer games. Yeah, which makes me wonder, says, this was from 1979 uh, and such. That makes me wonder, did uh, someone in the, uh, the Blizzard Either coincidentally or remembered the name Night Elves from so many editions ago and decided to, all right, we're gonna take this name, just order from being dark and perverse to just uh, Amazonian like <laughs> druids. Uh, that too. <laughs> but I, I was a bit surprised when I saw Night Elves mentioned there. <laughs> okay. But yeah, what? Was it does make me wonder. Okay. Sorry, what? Yeah, there was a. Okay. There must have been something there that got destroyed because the jump. The commendation of Gen Zar uh, laid there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, at least these two side missions aren't too long. Yeah, you go through this one surprisingly quickly. Yeah, I, I think for as frail as... Why are all of you retreating? For as frail as the Elder can be, they still deal pretty high damage. Oh yeah. Okay, there's not enough population cap for that. At least we can get a, you know, a Wraith Lord to move over. Actually, yeah, probably would have been better spent on a graph platform, but okay. Uh, yeah, death by, well, not a thousand cuts, but more like a billion cuts. <laughs> Again, with how these weapons are. Wait. Tyria, it is I, Ronan. We fought together on Meridian. Ronan. You escaped Angel Forge? Kaleth, stand down the war host. Allow me to speak with her. What are Kaleth? The prophecy warned that you would do this to us. I know. I am sorry. We follow our own prophecy. 
Honor unfulfilled would doom a still living craft world. Rona, is this true? It is. Ulfwe is in peril. By slaying the monster responsible for this exterminatus, we may save her. Uh, we are always in peril. You, me, even Farseer Idranel have ever danced on the strings of fate because of it. Ronan, she is dying. She cannot aid us in protecting Ulfwe. No. The Banshee does not protect. The Banshee slays. I have finished fighting for prophecy. Now I fight for vengeance. I have not much life left. Bear me quickly to the Avatar Chamber. We understand, young king. Oh, okay. The young king has been sacrificed to awaken the avatar of Cain. We will honor this sacrifice. Tyria, you shall have your vengeance. All right, because we, yeah, we know that we know from Dawn of War One that a sacrifice, someone needs to be turned into the the avatar. Okay, this I feel like Thunder Psyche left out. All right, yeah. So, at least there could have been more, like them trying to well go back and forth between who is uh, if. <laughs> who needs to stop fighting and such and well they <laughs> the, the reason they the reasoning i can think of that they would keep fighting is that uh, the elder here are just uh, the elder we attacked more to be more precise would be too uh yeah too engraved to uh, yeah to consider not killing the ones they see responsible for the death of the craft world yeah, probably this. Probably I also heard that this was supposed to be worst mission in the entire game that felt the most disconnected. For us here, it didn't really feel disconnected per se, story wise, from what we saw from the dialogue now. Yeah. So, you know, I was too sleepy when I watched it, or maybe too focused, I missed some detail, or they. We're a bit vague on things and misinformed to avoid spoiling. Yeah, that's or... <clears throat> that or they just played for God since they made recordings. <clears throat> yeah, that's also possible. Let's see. Avatar. Fiery incarnation of the god of war and murder. Massively powerful melee unit enhances nearby troops, making them resistant to range damage and immune to suppression. Okay, so... The, the avatar is pretty slow, but sending them along with melee troops would, well, basically let them overrun the place. Okay, just yeah. experience. Merusa's pole arm, 50% knockback resistance, and plus 100 armor. Okay. But only Caleb can use it. Born by a howling banshee exarch who bore the grace and ferocity of a lion and was venge uh, eventually dedicated to protecting her kin from a rotting dark Eldar, scores of witches, uh, however that said, were slain Wishes. by her blade. Wishes, okay. Uh, it's just a bit of a weird spelling of a witch. Okay, and then we have an upgrade for the banshees. And the Eye of Akron. Pastoria of Fire, more accuracy and extra range damage. On a f okay, it's a fusion gun. Let's see. This magnificently crafted fusion gun was the favorite personal sidearm of legendary orator Akron. Uh, uh, it is said that he was so skilled with his weapon that he never even had to look at a target to hit it. <laughs> okay, now I'm just now I'm just picturing that sort of cliche shooting someone behind you without even looking thing. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> Let's see. Mantle of the Young King. To deal fire damage to nearby enemy units. Pretty high armor rating. 
Worn by the warrior chosen for the ceremonial position of the young king, whose sacrifice awakens the spirit of the Avatar of Cain, this armor is woven with powerful runes and set with the spirit stones of the court of the young king. And then we have Wraithbone. Uh, yeah, allowing Wraith Wraithguards to regenerate health, but yeah, they're not really that good. <laughs> Unless there is another upgrade to give... Okay, there is another upgrade, it looks like, that gives them a warlock. This but probably at this helps point, them move faster. Yeah, which would make them all go faster at all times. Hmm. So we don't still take this. That that would make them more useful, but I don't see myself really using them that much either way. What did the other one do? Yeah, this is just a good armor that deals damage to enemies around. This would actually be good for Veldoran, since he's going to run in anyways. First, plus one more health and all that. And a fire aura. Plus okay, we yeah, one armor. I'm, yeah, now we're debating. Like, let's go with this armor, ma the mantle, for that was sounds more useful. Let's see. That's it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Average damage all around, not as much to vehicles, but still a lot better than other stuff we're using. Hmm. Yeah, and did he get that also a new spear if he was a, supposed to be better? Uh, I think we already gave that to Valoran, this one. Uh, the, the one we got just from this mission, I mean. Uh, was it? Yeah, uh, the pull arm, yes, arm the here. Arm. Let's see. Okay, it deals more damage and the extra armor. So now she has almost 180 armor. <laughs> and we give her the new armor we found. Mm. 215. Let's see. Hmm. And well, she is meant to be in combat, in melee combat, nearly all at all times. Yes. It actually does make sense, but then again, I think it would be better to give it to someone else because only Kaleth can wear this one. Well, she also you know, already has a massive amount of armor now. And yeah, that's that's just a much bigger jump for uh, Velder in here. Uh, Higgle on your helmet. Yep. <laughs> the Elder really have something with deer like creatures, huh? I never see them have helmets like a stag. Like, I see that plenty of time it's a warm fantasy, but not in 40k. For that, mm. in 40k is more of feathers. Let's see. Let's go with vigor for more energy. So we talk Elas is more like blades than antlers. And you get up to here, because infiltrate stuff is pretty useless to us. Uh, except for maybe this one. Uh, actually, no. Um, that infiltrate stuff would probably be a lot more useful on the higher difficulties, where we would need to be more, well, tactical with our approaches and such. Play it more like a, a commandos game or such. But at easy difficulty, we can brute force most of the time, so there's no real need. Okay. One more... wait. One more level for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we'll have to swap around weapons anymore. Okay. Let's see, what other weapon, what others do we have here? The Wraith Lord getting the <clears throat> Wraith Bone Synergy, and then Brightlands Cannon, effective against vehicles, and probably buildings as well, then. All right. And Fire Prisms can get a shield. Uh, you know what? Let's check what the last update for the Wraith Guard is. Yeah, Wraith is Guard Warlock. Warlock. But, uh, which... Warlocks have Wraith Sights, which boost the speed of nearby Wraith Guard. Okay. Okay. This transmission may yield valuable materials for the war host. Containment better. Hexor status notification. Initial quarantine designation. 
3.5 centuries. Quarantine status completed. Cargo designation. Security level prime minutes. Value level prime minutes. Power level prime minutes. Doctor. Doctor. Contents erased. Label engine for cargo relocation operational. Advise. External containment bay breach. Xenos presence confirmed. Relocate cargo immediately. Okay, so it's either the shield for the fire prisms or an exarch for the warp spiders, which we haven't really been using much anyways. And another yeah. piece of armor. Holy! That was a lot of health. And 87 armor. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. We can probably get through this as we've done with other yeah, with the other factions. Xenos contamination detected. Operations halted until hostiles cleansed. Which is just going to, well, plunk down a bunch of weapon platforms down every line and just hose them down as they come. Hmm. We didn't mind, I actually might have you know, preferred to swap out someone to give a. Uh, <clears throat> to give the platforms some buffs and such, but oh well. On my way there now. Hostile Xenos infiltration detected. Defenses compromised. Okay, deal with those. Just outright bullying them in there. Okay, move forwards. Oh. Okay, so those work again. Uh, hello there. Okay, that wasn't supposed to go double. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello there, JK Mukuwara. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I hope you enjoyed the show. How are you doing today? Hello and welcome. And you like getting bullied around by the cargo crates? I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> oh, gods. Ellen, wait, come on, keep moving. And I think, oh, wait, never mind. I usually get jump scared by the raid one, not the regular one. <laughs> okay, I'll need to check how, why that was going double. Uh,. Actually, I think I have my, I might have an idea of why it might have been doing that, but I'll have to look into that. Uh, let's see. Good, how are you? Uh, doing pretty well, I'd say. Uh, nice to see someone streaming the SAP game. Yeah, <laughs> though we have been streaming it maybe a bit too long since we've gone through four campaigns before this. <laughs> yeah. But of the, the Eldor, we have one final factor to go through. Yep, chaos. chaos. <laughs> Okay. Um, as I just realized, we got, we're gonna end up giving me a chaos look, aren't we? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wonder where what you plan to do with my avatar when we do the Star Wars one. <laughs> now I might just shove another helmet on you for that. <clears throat> uh, better than the other ones I was worried about. Like, putting my face on Chewbacca. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not going to do a Star Wars 3, but I sound like Chewbacca all the time. <laughs> okay. Set these up. We won't face anything from the back until that other door opens, if I remember correctly. So, let's put this thing into place. Okay. You and you into melee. Um, what? Uh, <laughs> I just realized what the machine just said. <laughs> On the fifth go, you only now realized. 
I think I have like most accidentally talked over it over it. It's kind of been hard to hear it uh, over a lot of other things. <laughs> And this time I probably even was able to read what it said. For all the times it has been a bit pixelated on this level. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <I'm laughs> not, it's not really a guess that you are a big fan of this game then, Mugawari. <laughs> what can you tell us about your experience with it then? Okay. Retreat a bit so the cannons can actually fire. There you go. Yeah, we've been streaming Dawn of War games for a bit. We've gone through the original game. We've uh, gone through Dawn of War 2 and Chaos Rising. And, oh, redirect you. And, yeah, we've also gone through the Orc campaign, the <clears throat> Space Marines campaign, basically every campaign except for the Eldar and the uh, Chaos campaign so far. Okay, I was, I was expecting an ambush from there, but... No. Yeah, no. We have not done the... Or... Did we do, do only one of the, the expansions to Dawn of War 1? Uh, I, none actually. Like, I was, I was thinking about doing Winter Assault. But, yeah, there was just the fact that... I, I couldn't really figure out how... Uh, no. The game seems to cheat, absolutely cheat at you sometimes. So I really didn't like that. With just hamstringing your resource income. And yeah, just timers or in some levels. Yeah. I don't I don't think I don't think either of us would have really enjoyed having to play through Winter Assault. Not to say that it is a bad game or such. Just that it would have been a big headache for us. Yeah, and, a bit of a risk on streaming. Yeah. And That's yeah, Valderin was actually throwing psychic bolts there whilst he was out of range. Thank Too lazy you. to go move. Yeah. Actually, I have one example here. Like, when we play the Fantastical Beast, or no. Impossible. Impossible, Impossible, Impossible. creatures. Impossible creatures. We were stuck on the same level for what was it like two, three, no, three, at least two. Three, so it was. At the very least two. Wait, I think I never ran out. It was three, but one you actually refused to upload because it was no progress at all, and basically you were oh, yeah, now I remember. You it was one you skipped uploading for you. You were. Almost non-stop angry at in that one. Yeah. So you felt if you if you told me that you didn't want to put it out for Yeah, what's the point of watching someone be angry for two hours? Well there are there are specific cha there are channels specifically for that, but we are not that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think that I had, yeah. Technically, it took us three episodes, was, yeah, one was removed. <laughs> but, uh, Rodin yeah. just picking off the last one there. This is real, that one about this, for, that's a good example of what we might have uh, to deal with on Winter Assault. Being stuck on levels for several episodes. Yeah, I, I had read that there are some tricks to make some of them easier, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we would have enjoyed it really. Maybe for you to own the stream? Or, no, no, you to own the series where we can edit out. But Maybe. That would probably take a while. Get them a shield. Okay. Only one case where we really have to go into melee so far. But then again, the Eldar are really strong at range. But just as I say that, another <laughs> we get another one in range. And again, this one counts as a vehicle.
Okay, reposition. Okay, one minute left on this defense point. And the other one is shorter anyways. Okay. As you wish. Mm-hmm. Oops. He's just being lazy over there. It's a good thing that Kayla just has a, such a massive amount of <laughs> armor, huh? Since she's being constantly swarmed. Yeah. <laughs> I do wish that we could take a look at some of those stats whilst we were... Uh, whilst we're in a mission, not to be able to change gear or such, but to be able to see... <clears throat> Why are you turned like that? To see stuff, uh, you know, or stats like that. Yeah, just to see if it actually work as well as intended. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. You may be able to finish uh, the end of this dream? Maybe, we still have an hour. And even though the credits take like, what, 25 minutes on their own? Or, or 21, I think it was more close, I, since I did time it. <laughs> we, we're gonna skip but we can the skip it. Except the, yeah. yeah. Except the scene one where we actually see the story. Yeah. Uh, the actual cred credits. Relish the moments of vanquishing. Yeah, we just gonna skip those. We have seen it so many times. Okay, more graph platforms, please. Okay, you stay there. I'm sure if I you dare to imagine how the battlefield looks like with shurikens everywhere. <laughs> okay, one team point backwards. One team point there. Yeah, let me get out of the way for a moment. Are you sure face. Are they in, um, all in the crud tanks? There. Uh, wait, aren't they able to upgrade them as well? Uh, yeah, they have the, the D cannon. <laughs> Still is a rather funny name. Are you about to get you at the name? <laughs> yeah, this one's just got it equipped. Okay, yeah, that... Hmm. Not entirely what I've expected. Oh, Ronan. Uh, you lot might want to get away from there. Similarity. Okay. Hmm. So he has an ability. Yeah, also has an ability. Okay, but yeah, it, it is just a big. It's just a big singular attack. It's basically similar to the uh, the anti-vehicle mode, which can still be installed. Will it swap between them? Or... Hmm. Nope. Lenway shields. Thank you. Okay. Mm, that should be most of it, I think. No back attacks. Okay. <laughs> One more group of Hordagons. Plus the objective is already complete anyways. I wish for you to burn out the vents. <laughs> you just have to get the last word in on that. Okay. Final gift of the ancients. So yeah, we can see about getting someone some really good gear. 
We didn't we didn't get a single bit of other war gear. Wait, no one leveled up? I think there was one level there. Let's yeah, see. But... Oh, yeah, we have uh, two more missions. Yep. Let's see. The three moons. Spirit stones ensconced in this armor alter their color to match those of the three storied moons of the Elder Homeworld. Their color at any given moment is believed to be a, the importance of the wearer's imminent fate. Okay, so if all of them go red or black, then uh, you might want to hand the armor over to someone else. <laughs> Let's see. Shall we just take the armor again, since we're just really low with armors? Yeah. Okay, Veldoran kind of upgrades. Uh, I, I will keep him with this one, because the fire armor is also is going to be really good. Beyond that, Elenwig gets under attack a decent amount. Plus, just having the healer have more health is always good. Yeah, and her auto would give her... Like, no perk resistance is good, but only having that with low <clears throat> armor. Let's see. Yeah, it's oh, better off in the new armor. Vigor here would be re would be pretty good <clears throat> on Valoran, I think, because it would allow him to equip a, th a third spell. Because he has, let's see, Destructor and challenging he has emulates just at standard and we so we could add confusion to his list as well yeah that's like a good idea okay we can go for that one and let's see i'm thinking either we go for his ultimate here providence become temporarily invincible and reduce cooldown timers on other abilities ability charge by taking damage or we go with Conceal, which just, well, damage resistance from range attacks. I'm thinking we go for this one. Yes, I agree with you there. Okay. And yeah, one more mission should be good for level 10 on everyone. Otherwise, we can just, well, sell some stuff. Also, I forgot to <clears throat> do that one there. Let's see. Final gift of the Ancients. Caleb gets a power sword, Elenway gets a witchblade with offense focus, Veldoran a witchblade with offense, and Ronan a long rifle. Let's have a look at everyone's arm, uh, the weapons. Level 8 polearm, level 7 long rifle, level 8 singing spear, and level 7 staff. Hmm. Who would you say? This probably not Caleb because this thing just gives plus one hundred armor and such. Yeah. Hmm. The... Oh, this is a tricky one. Oh, wait. On target, target explosion, a burst of psychic energy, damaging and stunning nearby enemies. This one is really good, actually. So, either one of these two, I'd say, or do we just take a look at what? Do we just exchange it, but maybe not uh, actually equip it? Uh, wait, wait, what's her weapon? Uh, Elenway and Valorant get witch blades with different focus. Yeah, and let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, regain energy and health on hit. Since it's a ranged weapon, it's pretty good. And Valorant has, yeah, this one, which is <laughs> plus 20 melee and ranged. Should we give it to a Lenway? Yeah, the, for the much she has is good, but I feel like we could have maybe have a chance to get, get her a better one. Let's see, level 10 Witchblade, the 99, 9, yeah, 99 Swords, 99% <laughs> knockback resistance, plus 99 health, plus 99 armor rating. Okay. Wait, <laughs> read the, the flavor text. Let's see. Reputed to be crafted by Val himself as part of a bargain with Cain for 100 swords to ransom Isha and Kuras. The 100 sword was never finished. <laughs> okay, I think I heard a, a lore video about that or something. Oh dear. But yeah, th that one definitely made it worse giving her new armor for that. Basically just replace her own chestplate with a 
Much better not by resistance. Let's see. We gave that. It's only 35%. Hmm. Yeah, so and she... the current thing that the current thing she has also gives like double armor, so we can keep her equipped with this. Yeah, that's what I meant. I feel like the sword was a better replacement for knockback resistance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see how they like their new toys as we go break oh Kyrus's. Oh dear. <laughs> Gods have mercy, they're here. Lads, hurry. Get this thing moving. They're going to slaughter us. Humans and their tanks. You have floating tanks. Is, are you just being... Are you just being arrogant because your tanks can float? I think it's more of an... Elder Wars have a few tanks, but in here... A lot of them. <laughs> okay, with the blades... <laughs> All right, we have our own super units. <laughs> with the blade, Alenwe goes in for melee, which might not be as good, but we can see if we if we can switch her to range stance and help with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, not that. Uh, there, are stance. Okay. No, let's go capture this thing. And we'll have our fun just stomping around with the Avatar. It's the Wailing Doom oh It's a weapon of immense power. It uh, can be used to project a wave of burning psychic energy damaging all in its path. And Kane's Wrath, which is just a, an explosion around. Okay. Oh, right. Let's see how this goes then. I should probably say this, people. Cain and Corn are not the same person. People, some people have made theories that they are the same, but the MG Workshop has come in and said, no, they are not the same person. Not even the same entity or that. But I do feel like it, they probably could have avoided that if they gave Cain another name. Okay, that's a cone attack. Ronan, can you break off for a second and go after that? Uh, Lenway, you might want to... Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll have to risk do our healer getting into melee. She is a lot more protected now, so she should be able to last a lot better. I've lost this. Okay. I, I like that Kayla just <laughs> completely moves over some terrain that others would just need to move around. And I think Valderon can do that as well, now that we get to see it now with the Avatar just stomping over everything. Take that out, please. And get them out of that. Yeah, <laughs> Belderin has does the jumping as well. 
Yep, no he's Marines. Yeah. Brody, can you shut them the heck up? Oh, wrong one. There, thank you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you going into melee with noise marines, which are specifically built for that? Holo enhanced armor. Okay. Okay, we've got a good amount of requisition, but little power. Hmm. I don't want to go for another Guardian spam. I do want to bring some more anti-vehicle stuff. There we go. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then. Okay. Disrupt the anti... Well, <laughs> the anti-armor, because they can deal a good amount of damage against <clears throat> the Avatar, I believe. Okay. <laughs> what is with my freaking throat today? Is that for all or something? No. Also, I forgot to capture that, so let's just go over quickly. Or we can just summon someone here for that. That's it. Can craft platform teams actually capture? Well, those Imperial Gods are doomed. Yep. <laughs> and shish kebabs. <laughs> okay. And the rest can just go on the barbecue. <laughs> Catch up, you. Oh, he was taking pot shots at the shrine. Okay. Let's regroup. Hmm. And yeah, we make a push for the front door. Okay. Upgrade you to a bright lance. Okay. And yeah, we just push in <clears throat> and deal with the targets as they appear. Again, this just, just such a wide angle of fire and also just the range. There we go. <clears throat> There we go. Oop. And please deal with that. Okay. There's some more points that we could capture, but I think with the Avatar, we basically have everything covered already. So we could also use some... We can always use more vehicles if we could afford them. Uh, yeah, screw it. Straw. Guard, new guardian spam after all. <clears throat> what? You might want to shoot this one instead that's right in front of you. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Veldren, burn that out, please. 
Yeah, uh, Terminators. Yep. <laughs> Against an Exarch. But an Autark, which is even worse for them. Is he just? I have unburdened us of their infantry. Still wearing. Hmm? Did he just once hit a it Terminator? If she did, I didn't notice it. <laughs> okay, did they just land a shot in midair on her? <laughs> okay, she is butchering some of those units. <laughs> Yeah, she's not one shot her, but she is dealing heavy damage. Actually, I'm going to move the, the flag from that there. Okay, because we'll probably want some. We'll probably want some more anti-vehicle uh, teams set up for when the land raider spawns. Okay. Would be actually pretty funny if we had a bunch of them set up and the moment it spawns it just instantly gets cut to pieces. It's always gonna happen. <clears throat> we require additional power. Okay. Soldiers are dead. You have a command. One of you break off for a moment to capture that. Clear that out. Let's see what that actually will do now. It, okay, it causes them to attack their own, yeah, like the description said, confuse. Causing it to recklessly attack anything nearby for a short period. Them getting suppressed. Okay, bright lands. Okay, everyone back here. Can we get any more energy out of these? I don't see any particular reason why they needed to go into melee for that. Okay. Yep, nope. No. No. Raft platforms. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. Hello. You all here for the barbecue? Yes. I shall grind you all to gristle beneath my trace. Blood for the blood god! Bring it apart, slay them all! Uh-oh. Okay. Is this the one where we made me the... the, the D-Cannon? I, I don't... I don't remember if it said anything about it being specific against vehicles, just that it does a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, there it goes all the same. <laughs> the Land Raider is lost. Disengage. Leave the cowards to their doom. <clears> that does make me think, though. Have there ever been cases of Chaos Land Raiders? World shall rejoice in our victory. Psychic oh, sure. shield. I don't think they have some other horrible things. Like demon engines. Yeah. Let's see. Hollow enhanced armor. 69 armor. Permanently camouflaged. Evasion bonus versus ranged weaponry and a bit of movement speed. 
But it might be technology slimmer, yeah, similar to that used by the hollow suits of the Elder Harlequins, this armor contains a programmable hollow field that breaks up the wearer's outline, making him very difficult to target. And the Kiss of Altioch. <clears throat> range damage, extra 50% accuracy plus 20% side range. And it's a long rifle. This long rifle is said to have, been, uh, to have belonged to... Uh, Solkar of Eltioch, one of the most gifted pathfinders of a craft world renowned for the quality of its rangers. The rifle retains some psychic memory of the ranger, and those who have fired the weapon swear it never misses its mark. Okay. <coughs> okay, indeed. Now then, we have Hugen's Fire, plus 50% damage, <laughs> flame damage resistance. Uh, and plus 10 damage. <clears throat> uh, this incomparable fusion gun is said to burn with the fury of the Phoenix Lord Fugen, master of the Fire Dragon Aspect Shrine. Only when you have annihilated those who would oppose you can you truly understand the power of the dragon. Uh, on Th Thrillian, Mo Morning Child, Autark of we uh, uh, Imlock. Im uh, uh, Morning Child? Really? Yeah. That, that sounds like a horrible last name. <laughs> no, he, he needs his co he needs his coffee in the morning. And by afternoon, he's useless. <clears throat> hmm. Only one able to use that would be Kaleth, and she already has a good weapon. So let's go for the Wraithbone synergy. Okay. That's the uh... yeah. That's the one for Ronan. Hmm. That is a pretty big damage boost, but the effect of this one is that it has a uh, has a habit of just locking down groups of enemies. Wait, wait, and again, they, they don't last that long. Sight! Yes, yeah, sight range, not attack range. Hmm. Let's see, 69. We had, we had that shadow armor or shadow scale armor with the uh, space marines previously. And yeah, that, that wasn't really too worth it because it made us. Yeah, it, we had to micromanage them the whole time. Yeah. Okay, Kaleth. Let's see. We could go for Illusion. Create an Illusion of Kaleth that deals less damage but draws the fire of her attackers. She already has like 179 armor, so I don't think we need her to have uh, a lure. Or we could go for a strike from the skies. When jumping into combat, Caleb boosts the combat effectiveness of nearby allied units in addition to healing them. Again, it doesn't say if if it's from where she starts or where she lands. I'm presuming the latter. <clears throat> and yeah, then there's increased rate of fire with ranged weapons, which, well, isn't useful since we have her melee, in melee constantly. Let's see. Okay, so that this becomes a spell, but Elenway has that already at the base with wards. Hmm, so not really too useful, I'd say. Hmm. Let's sell these since they're below the curve now. Hmm. I I say we don't give this to Ro. Uh, we don't give this to him. Because just of how permanent <clears throat> permanent stealth was done earlier. Yeah, that the permanent stealth sounds better to be offered away. Yeah. And now everyone is level ten. Okay, the only one of real use is this one, which just plain guardians can do, so it's a bit of a useless one. And yeah, Providence. <laughs> Gesundheit. Ah, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at this this is I did another. as a kid. Let's see, does oh, this mean... Like... Mm. Oh, sorry, what? I, I wonder if this is targeted, or if it's just around her. And yeah, it's either that, or... She... <clears throat> it's either increased damage for her, or allowing her to in equip another accessory. I think another accessory might be better, since... Uh... Yeah, we can all we can see what this psychic shield does then. 
Okay. And yeah, with half an hour to go, we have the last mission waiting for us. Yep, final conflict, so here we go. Oh dear. Hmm. Something I only now really think about is... Hmm. Yeah, also this first. Uh, my guess is that with the uh, Exterminatus fleet in system, they basically went for Typhon first because they just dropped out of the warp right next to it and from there have spread out mm -hmm. to the other ones, to take them out at once. I am no stranger to the deaths of plants. Cyrene was my home. Yet when the need was made evident, I did not hesitate to contact the Inquisition. By my hand, Cyrene burned. Cyrene's secrets now live solely with me, and so shall they die with me. Whether I'm victorious or slain, my sins will know retribution. Such is the final testimony of Gabriel Angelos. Captain of the Blood Ravens, Third Company. Savior of Tartarus, Bane of the Black Legion. Servant of the Emperor. On this day, we walk in step. Uh, the Rangers are I'll probably have my nose approved. As I say, uh, I missed the time I was a kid, for then the sneezes were not so horrible. <laughs> I think I said that before. Probably, yeah. Yeah. For... Mm. When you grow up, this niece is really get harder. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Was wondering if anyone was going to capture that or not. Okay. Deal with that. And yeah, this should be doable in a half hour, which means that next week we'll get started with chaos. <laughs> oh gods! I am on the move. That'd be a an interesting time. end. Okay, ambush. And this, this is what we say to ambushes. <laughs> Enjoy this. 
Yeah, yeah, where is there you are. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he went down a lot easier than I expected with that. Yeah, again, he was out of, he was away from everyone else. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, the usual, just guardians and guardians and guardians. <laughs> It is a simple strategy, but it does work, huh? Yeah. Just sheer numbers. I don't know what the heck that metal-looking things are. Yeah, it could be metal deposits or something that were forced up from the ground. Yeah, but what metal is it, I wonder? Not bronze or... Bronze as an alloy. Copper? But no, that be this turns green. After a while. Uh, brass is an alloy as well, ain't it? Yep. So, brass would make sense if it was supposed to be Corn's friend invading this place, but. Uh, Maybe iron? It could be iron that has started to rust. The Valorant is being re is proving to be real vulnerable in this mission for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So gotta keep pushing forwards. Yeah, now because I mentioned how it was more pleasant, so uh, but Sneeze has never been pleasant. Just was not as horrible when you were a kid, but I just remember I, I was a kid when I played the first on War. Many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. <laughs> of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot how old I was when I played Dawn of War for the first time. <laughs> well, we have plenty of time to think about it whilst we just keep working our way through here. Hmm. Probably a teenager around there, I suspect. Uh, I feel old. <laughs> Actually, can we con can we confuse the dreadnought? Okay, it looks like it would work. It's just that it has no other targets than our <laughs> units. Okay. Another one. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to use the confuse spell on a dreadnought that's in the middle of a crowd now. Yeah, that sounds more effective than uh, to do it when they're alone. Now is the time we shall destroy it. Okay. There is the objective, the key to victory. Let's see. Okay, Breeze are. Population cap. Uh, don't you sometimes uh, miss the days when you were a kid or a teenager? No, uh, things were definitely simpler then, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. For several years ago, I thought, well, it's easy, it was easier than, uh, yeah, you know the phrase where the people could say, it was easier back in my time. Because I always felt a bit of neutral over for show. Some things were easier back then, but other things were harder. But now I see where they are coming from for it's harder and harder to think like that the more of a, it was easier back then. I 
Dinosaur skulls. As in all things, I am on the move, ready for battle. Group all of these still. Might as well mark all of these as under the same number. One of you peel off to grab that. Okay. You. Oh, he, he must have been in a, an animation or something to not be able to command it. To, no, to not be able to use his abilities. Confuse that one, please. Hmm. Oh, everyone, they, they are taking him! Okay, and he's got an unconfused. Let's fix that. Oh, no. he seemed to still fire at you while being confused, but his comrades attacked him instead. Yep. <clears throat> but then he did start smashing them as well, whilst they started attacking him. Deal with that. And immediately move. She can jump all the way over there and just grab that. <laughs> then the rest can just move on. Okay. There. Okay. What are you doing over there? I suggest he may have been one of their leaders. No matter though, he was after all just a human. Okay, we'll have to wait a moment for the rest to catch up. <clears throat> healer back a bit then again she can act as a <laughs> she can act as a tank herself but not the metal kind okay now you lot catch up uh, let's get to avatar of course and we can't really afford anything else okay Yeah, you should be able to deal with that. Okay. I think you got a bit more than their attention. Okay, you go pick a fight with the dreadnoughts. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I did not expect that <laughs> that much of an effect. Okay. Break this one down. Moving now. 
and move. How did I deal with that much damage? bit of a re late realization. The reason that all of the troops showed up here instead of over here was because they couldn't move past the, the rock wall there. Uh, oh. hey, you are just intent on throwing yourself into danger against dreadnoughts, aren't you? No, there's no trouble to get thrown into a Jedi down there, Tyans. We can swing that staff around. Yeah, for a pretty little bit, it glue up on two ends like a lightsaber. <laughs> so basically, a blue version of the Dwarf Maul's uh, double saber. Okay, one of you grab that, the rest of you move on. Valderan. Time to cook some tin food. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Elder don't eat people. <laughs> yeah, but still, just cooking the <laughs> cooking the <clears throat> cooking them in their own armors. <laughs> That sounds more to me like a crew would say. <laughs> Crutes are banned from eating anything that's been corrupted by chaos. For obvious reasons. Uh, if I don't know, people don't know, crude will gain traits from what they eat. Okay, and moving on. Yes. Actually, that reminds me. Apparently, you can uh, buy DLC to play as the director and Tau for this game. Uh, in the uh, multiplayer uh, arena, not for yeah. not as factions. Yeah, only uh, for the arena. This I feel is meh. Like, if you paid for them for the multiplayer and for the story, alright, nice, but only for the multiplayer? Uh, yeah, kind of, a bit, uh, it's just meh. From what, I, from what I've seen, it, people do enjoy uh, that mode, but I personally do not really. Uh, let's see. Ronan, capture that please. The rest of you keep pushing on. Storm of sight. <laughs> okay. Useless since we can't actually equip that after this. Another first time something like that happened. Okay. One group of guardians capture that. Ronan, catch up. Healer in in danger. Burn those, please. Here he comes, and there they go. Burn. Okay. Select everyone. Burn some. Yep. I thought it was ready. Okay, that should be all of our troops. 
It'd be nice if there was an option to extend this out by one or so. Because very clearly, we, as we've shown, you can get a lot more units than it can actually show. Okay. Now, deal with that. Hey, who's down there? Hmm. Uh, south of you. It looks like there's someone on the map. Okay, those are just extra upgrades. It doesn't swap them out to... It, it gives them a shoulder cannon. that, huh? Press X to doubt. Okay, now while Gabriel maps, we'll actually have, we'll actually deal with the problem. Okay. I don't know if any of the, uh, that grub spot is true or not. But I have all the issues uh, they uh, are blind to. Yeah, I'd say their grudge is more just with all of, all the rest of existence. Get into combat, you lot. Change direction. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should Wait. get a few grab platforms down for this. Yeah, well, tanks is reinforcement, basically. Need reinforcement. And we we don't have we don't have the resources. Seriously, we have the population, but not the not the resources. And we may soon have enough and. Yeah, we might be going over time. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, again, we're going to be skipping the uh, uh, credit. We're, we're going to see the end season a lot, of, just not the moving credits. Yeah. And here comes the Juggernaut, or apparently one of the old nicknames, the Juggers. <laughs> I feel like the youngest is probably a nickname for something else at this point. Okay. Focus beam for anti vehicle. Okay, just free for all. Well, come on, they didn't even get to destroy one of them. Okay, cancel that. Make me a few of those. And park them off the side so they can actually 
so they don't get stabbed in the back by demons. Mm. There. Let's see what happens if we just spam this a bunch. Yep, and he's out of our energy already. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he, see. he has a lot of or he has a lot of <laughs> he has a lot of health, Nikua. Let's actually count that. Let's see. Two, <laughs> 249,375 health. Yeah, that's quite a bit. <laughs> okay, at least we keep getting the materials from all of these. There we go. Are they uh, almost struggling here compared to the, without the factions? Yeah. You immediately upgrade to that. But maybe upgrading to the decan would be better. Hmm. The Avatar is still alive. Let's see. They ask you what our favorite faction is. Uh, actually, I think we spoke about that last time we streamed this game. And I'm pretty sure I said it was like a 50-50 a between Eldar and Orcs. I like most factions, but I am unsure if I would have a favorite. But okay, also, I do, I am also very well aware that most of the patches are rather, can be rather jerks. But I do have Tau. I do have Tau figures. Okay. However, I got them before the, uh, the memes, basically. Okay. Open fire. Let's see. Migura. Uh, nice. I have Tau and Necrons. Elder 2. Okay. We may oh, want to turn around and run. <laughs> okay, I think we only had it difficult with one other faction, I think, where we actually had the full on retreats. And I think it was the Space Marines with this. Might be. They're all catching up now, finally, thanks to the tanks, but... Okay. Yeah, we don't really have, like, a war cry or such. That is power on the ground. Yeah. Oh, wait, there was the precision of power. <laughs> What's that now? Sort of dawn light. Why does it keep giving us these <laughs> purples when we can't use them? Uh. Actually, best just name every mark everything on the team one. <laughs> yeah, the wraith lords here aren't actually as effective as I thought or hoped. I thought they would be more like the Dreadnoughts and such, but they are completely melee focused with their Shuriken Cannon only being an extra bit. Yep. <laughs> Too late on that, I was hoping to wipe out a good force of those demons with that. bit more. The Avatar is still alive. Yep. 
Put in some grenades on that. Nope. Never mind. Okay, did I do it too quick there or something? There. <laughs> the ironic thing about becoming a demon prince is that, well, from what I hear, most expect it would grant more freedom, but in reality, it actually <laughs> completely enslaves those uh, that's actually become demons. Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> that's first. <laughs> okay, and just about on the two-hour mark, we finished the last mission. <laughs> okay, let's actually have a look at these since we got them here. The Storm of Blades. Uh, said to have been crafted by Thesis, brother of the first Phoenix Lords Ar Asurman. Uh, Asurman. Uh, this weapon unleashes an endless torrent of shuriken. In spite of this, its ammunition core mysteriously never seems to diminish. The idol of the Wailing Doom. The avatar of Cain is the living embodiment of the Elder God of War, a being of molten iron and fury. He carries in his hands the Wailing Doom, a weapon of immense power that may take many forms, ranging from that of a weapon, a manipulated axe, or a spear. This idol was crafted in honor of a long-past battle where the Avatar secured victory by driving the Wailing Doom, and then in the form of a mighty spear, through the skull of a rampaging Tyranid tri Trigon. Okay. A Storm of Silence. Named after Jane Zar, the Phoenix Lord of the Howling Banshees, this glaive-like weapon is said to contain some vestige of the lingering spirit of M Morai, Morai Heg, the Elder Crone Goddess, and can slice through even the, uh, through the thickest adamantine armor with ease. And last but not least, the Sword of Dawnlight. Legends, legend holds that this blade was forged by Val, the Elder Smith God, before the fall and wielded by the god and his mortal champion, El... Aldanish, Aldanish in their duels with the uh, god war Cain. Whether this is the actual sword or not is undoubtedly a blade of unparalleled quality. Again, I, this game would have done well with a new game plus mode to let you run through the earlier missions with gear like that. I wonder if my dreams may finally end. We should all be so fortunate to have such loyal kin. I believe we already do. You have served the craft walls honorably, outcast. What shall you do now? I shall bring my sister home. Okay, I was actually expecting a bit more there, but oh uh, well. Yeah, it was a nice <laughs> ending, but... Way quicker than expected. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was Physical expecting a bit more of an epilogue of them talking about going to war with the Necrons before they could awaken or such. Yeah. And especially considering how much detailed information you gave, gave us earlier. And yeah, that leaves, well, five factions done with only chaos remaining. <laughs> And yeah, we'll get to see Eliphas again after, well, he probably got a few... <laughs> He's probably been tortured for the last 10 years or so since he failed in Chaos Rising. Oh, probably. Uh, yeah, for now though, it'll be a time to end the stream, so we go look for someone to raid. Okay. First off, let me remove the always on top on the preview, and then change the screen share so that Drakir can see who... Well, who are all available for rating. Let's have a look. It's a long list again, so I'll have to I'll narrow it down to a <clears throat> to a few. Uh, let's see. We have Dynalope with Luna Sid. I don't think we've seen them in a good long while. Uh, we have Hisairus here, who is playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. And <laughs> We've raided the Redacted Cat somewhat recently. 
Uh, let's see. Jeronki with Guess the Game. I don't know that, so let's take a quick peek on that. I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, it, it's just <laughs> oh. guessing which games, judging from screenshots and such. Okay. Uh, let's instead look at uh, WBPL with Breath of the Wild. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we look for someone new to raid? Let's go with the one playing Breath of the Wild. Okay, WB then. Okay, copy the name. Head to our place. Slash raid and paste. Ooh, apparently caps lock is on. And yeah, before that though, uh, let's see. Mugawara. Uh, Elder 2, yep. Uh, I almost forgot the Dark Elders, cool faction 2. Okay, yeah, the, <laughs> 40k has a lot of uh, factions among them. <laughs> but yeah, Ooh, I would yeah. still say that the Orcs and Elder are probably my favorites, even if they are near complete opposites of each other, or complete opposites. But uh, it's probably, I guess, for just the hilarity of them. Yeah, okay, but yeah. Before we start the raids, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you Mugarar for <laughs> for the follow and for watching. And do we have any other lurkers around? Nope, we do not. Oh well. So thank you as always, Drakir. Thank you as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. Normally, we like we said earlier, normally we would have a third, not a third, a, a second stream today in about three hours, a little under that. Uh, but we'll have to see if the roleplay group I'm trying to get back into will be active or not during the same time, because, yeah, we would stream again on 8 p.m. local for me, uh, which is GMT plus one. <clears throat> and, well, <laughs> an event that's planned on Saturdays starts at the same time. So, yeah, it's either one or the other. Maybe... Yeah. Uh, maybe if it gets back to becoming a weekly thing for them, maybe we can do it like 50-50, like one week we don't, one week we do another stream. We'll have to see. Yeah. <clears throat> I think people can be honest. A range of such events are usually... How to say this? Herding cats? Harder than it looks. Yeah, herding cats. <laughs> yeah, they usually get delayed. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If if there if we do do another stream, we'll get started with a new game for the side quests, Partisan 1941. We have showcased that game and I look forward to what what more we'll learn about that. Yeah, but for now, I hope it works. Yeah. Uh, well, I did test it. It's the the issue we had beforehand during the showcase has been solved. But yeah. <clears throat> Uh, let's actually get that raid started now. Yeah, no raid block. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Be safe, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and uh, chaos <laughs> demon princes who are foolish enough to oppose the Eldar. <laughs>